Okay, so with the assembly open, uh, just open up one of the parts first of all. And what we basically want to do is reference some of this geometry um, inside of this part. So if we come up to modify, choose copy object. You want to copy faces, not the entire body. Um, copying the entire body is a little bit overkill. So if you select face, say that you want to create a new surface, and then go ahead and select the faces that basically intersect um, this part over here. So this one, this one, this one, and I think that's all of them. Generally I'll turn associativity off. What associativity will do is it'll, uh, it will basically update the surface if this part was ever to change. The problem with that is it worked fine the first time but then when we cut the second part the associativity will pick up that this part has changed and therefore the initial cut will be wrong. So I'd recommend unselecting associativity. Go ahead and press OK. Just take a couple of seconds uh, and that will give you a couple of surfaces to work with. Um, now if you've never worked with surfaces inside of Inventor, they look a bit, little bit different. They are slightly transparent. Okay, um, They don't have any volume. It is literally a surface. What we need to do, because essentially we want to trim this solid using this surface, is we need to make sure that it fully extends through all of the body. You see in some cases here it doesn't quite go through all of the material. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, even though I'm in um, sheet metal, I'm going to come up here to 3D model. I'm going to come across and select Extend Surface. I'm going to select the edge of the surface. Okay, And I'm just going to give it a distance. I'm going to turn off Edge Chain for this example. Um, and let's just give it a distance of, say, 20 mil. You can see that extends the surface. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and select the same surfaces all the way around. Might not be enough. I might need to do it one at a time. Actually, looking at that, so let's do the one at a time. Let's un unchain. Do that one 20 millimeters. And just do three separate extends. It looks like that's going to resolve it a little bit better for me. It's not going to look the neatest in the world, but generally all we want to do is just make sure that that is coming all the way through that material. Once you get to a point where you think you've got it going all the way through the material, we're going to come in and we're going to say that we want to split. We're going to split a solid, okay, so trim solid. The split tool that we're using is this surface. Okay. It's already picked up this um, solid to be able to trim. So it's basically a case of do you want to remove everything above the surface or below the surface. In this case we want to move everything below usually going to give you a preview, so the fact that it's not usually means that there's something wrong. We press apply. No, that's okay. You can instantly see that it's been cut. The only reason that would fail is if you haven't extended this surface enough. So we can see that's now been trimmed. So if we just expand our folded model, come down and we'll just right click and hide the surface. And we can see that we've now got a nice clean cut.